Hello, welcome to another awesome video in our series How to set up an online store website in 15 minutes or less using a free and powerful open source e-commerce software called OpenCAT In today's video, we are going to demonstrate how to create and manage your store categories and uh, if you have missed any of the previous videos in this series I suggest you check the description area below this video where you can find a link to watch all the previous videos okay so let's get started first we need to go to our store admin area so we go to dbrdemo.com slash admin and then login with our login details okay and then open up our storefront in a new tab okay here you have the top level categories that comes with uh, open cat if you hover your mouse over any of the categories you will discover all the subcategories within that category okay and if you click on the show all link below the drop down you will be taken to the category page where you can see all the products listed under the category okay category helps your store visitors narrow down their product search and locate what they are looking for quickly okay and if you want to see all the active categories in your store there is a simple way to do it you just scroll down to the bottom of your site and click on the sitemap link here here you will find all the categories active on your store here you have the desktop as the top level category here and pc and mac as sub categories likewise you have the components category here as top level with a monitor as child category and test one and test two as uh, third level categories okay if you want to add a new category or edit an existing category in our store we need to go to catalog and click on the categories link here here you find all the categories in your store you can click the button here to edit any existing category or click the add new button here to add a new category and if you wish to delete any category you simply tick the checkbox beside the category you want to delete and click on the delete button over here and that category will be deleted okay before we demonstrate how to create a new category there is uh, one important thing we need to discuss and that is product filters filters is very important in open store because it helps your store visitors further narrow down their product search to a given range okay so to set up a new filter you go to catalog and click on filters okay here we don't have any filter set up in the store so we click on the add new button and enter the filter name price range the sort order determines the position of this filter in relation to other filters on the page okay after we click on the add filter button here below click on the add filter button again Okay, sort of that three, sort of that four, and then lastly, 100,000 and above. Okay, we have created the price range filter. And after we click on the save button. Okay, let's create another filter and call this one brand let's give it the sort order two and click on the hp apple dell toshiba Seven song 
then LG. Okay, we have created the brand and filter. So we click on the save button here to save. Now we have two filters already created here brand and price range. Okay, so let's go over to categories and create a new category. So we go to catalog and click on categories. Okay, here we have the list of all the categories in our store. So first of all, we get rid of all the categories that we don't want to have in our store. So, so we tick the and to select all the for me, I want to retain desktop and laptop. Okay, and then click on the delete button here to delete. Okay, and I'll select phone software and tablets and click on the delete button also. Okay, here I have the categories that I want to retain in my store. So to create a new category, I need to click on the add new button here. Okay, here we enter the category name, computers and accessories. And under description, we enter the description for our category here. Then under meta title, we enter the meta title, the title that appears on search engines. And under meta description, we enter the meta description for our category here. Then under meta keywords, we enter keywords relevant to our category, separated with comma. Then under data tab, under parents, if you want this category to have a parent, you select the parent here. Okay, as you mean, I want this category to be under desktop. I will select desktop here. But me, I don't want this to be a child category i want this to be a top level category so i select none okay then under filters we need to select the filters relevant to this particular category so i'll select price range you type the filter name and select from the drop down then select the brand filters Toshiba then Samsung and then LG okay then under store select the stores that you want this category to be applied to assuming you are running a multi store setup okay then under image you click on the image and select the image you want to use for this category okay then under top if you want this category to appear on top of your site like these ones here you select the top uh, checkbox here and this is only applicable to top level category if this category has a parent here this will be useless okay so under columns how many columns do you want to have for this category so we here you have four columns for this for the subcategories here okay but here we have only one column okay here you select how many columns you want to have for this for the subcategories of this uh, top level category for me i want to have two columns to display the subcategories okay then under sort order you enter the position of this category in relation to other categories in the top level hierarchy okay then after we go to seo tab then here we enter the keyword relevant to our category for me i'll put computer hyphen and hyphen accessories here okay remember the instruction here do not put space instead replace space with hyphen and make sure the SEO URL is globally unique. So this 
must not be duplicated okay then under design tab you select a layout override assuming you created an override for this category you select the override but here we'll use the default and after we click on the save button to save our new category and here we have our computers and accessories category so let's go to the storefront and go to the home page as you can see our computers and accessories category is already here at the top level so when we click on it here we have our image the description but unfortunately we don't have a product listed under this category yet so let's go and add some products to this category so we go to catalog and click on products okay so let's edit this product the apple cinema 30 under links tab here we select the computers and accessories category okay then under filters let's add some brand is apple and the price range let's select a price range of 100 and above okay for this uh, product and after we click on the save button let's edit this product too then under link tab let's select our brand new category and then under filter this is hp and the price should be let's select a price of okay and after we click on the save button so let's refresh our category again as you can see we now have two products listed under this category and if you look there is no filter in this page for us to narrow down our product search so let's go to our store backend and enable the filter module so first of all we go to extensions and click on extensions then from the drop down here we select modules then we look for the filter module as you can see the filter module is disabled so first of all we install it by clicking the install button then after we click on the edit button beside it then select enabled and click on the save button okay the next thing we need to do is to assign this uh, filter to a module position so we go to design then click on layout let's click on the edit button beside the category layout okay here on the column left position let's uh, delete the banner here and click on the add module button here and from the drop down select the filter module we just activated and after we click on the save button here so let's go to the front and refresh okay as you can see the filter module named refine search is now showing so we have our product filter showing on the left column so assuming i want to narrow down to products apple products so i will click on the refine search button and this will show me the apple products because we attach this uh, apple brand filter to this product so it's only showing apple product if i want to narrow down to hp product if i click it here it will be showing me the hp product here because i attach the hp brand uh, filter to this product okay and the same thing we can also narrow down based on price range here so let's click on the 25,000 naira to 49,000 price range and see the product that we show here you can see the product because we associated this filter to this product okay so that is how to create and manage your store categories okay in our next video we are going to demonstrate how to 
create and manage your store products and uh, if you have gained any value from this video i want you to click the like button below this video and also subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know whenever i drop awesome videos on my channel thank you and see you in the next video peace